What's up, everybody? And it's Damo and Twistifer. And as you can see, we're already a little emotional before making this video, but we have to make it. We've been like putting this off for a long time. Putting it off. Just putting it off. I'm gonna my glasses off. So, as you can see from the title of the video, I was already off. crying. Yes. Sorry. We both were crying. You off. <laughs> it's just a sad situation. We very much love each other. We very much are still best friends. Like, this is very hard. Okay? And I want y'all to know that we didn't just give up. We tried. You know what I'm saying? We don't hate each other. She's still a wonderful human being. She's still... I still love her. None of us did anything wrong for us to break up, I feel like. Damo. So you can be a little bit... Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, Damo is... I start crying. Just okay. Um, Damo's a really good person and she was a good girlfriend and fiance and she didn't do anything wrong. She treated me like gold. She treated me like what was I saying before? <laughs> like um <laughs> um I hate crying. I feel like a bitch. Bitch, bye. I feel like a puss. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> Girl, bye. Um, she like taught me my worth. Like, I mean, I always said this, like, not on like social media, but um, I haven't experienced like a toxic relationship in so long because of her, and I appreciate that because. I mean, we both were in a toxic relationship before we got together, so I just feel like it's really refreshing and it makes you like, it makes you realize for like the future not to let anybody fucking disrespect you or treat you like shit, like, cause you're not worth that shit. I just feel like you taught me a lot about myself and like my self happiness and you always supported me even though I got fat and- No, <laughs> stop. <laughs> no, for real. Like you, you were there for me like regardless, like even if I felt like, or even like a couple months ago when I was really depressed and sad, like you were really like the only one there for me. I'll always be here for you. And I appreciate it. I really will. Like, genuinely, no matter what happens in life, I don't care if you get a new sexy fine ass <laughs> upgrade from me. I will still be here for you. Always. I swear. Okay. Now, if something goes to happen and you're not there for me, I'm going to talk about this moment and I'm going to cut you out. I will always be here for you. I swear to God. Me too. No. Oh. Okay. This girl is my best friend for real. Like I don't have to talk high no, about me. No, I, I don't. I don't you. have to talk high about you. We tried to do this video okay. so many times and we can never get it right because it's so emotional. It's a very difficult subject to talk about. I just want to let you guys know that, like she said, nobody did anything wrong. We just grew apart over time, and it sucks. This breakup was literally mutual. She didn't break up with me. I didn't break up with her. We literally sat down. It was strange how it happened. We just bounced off each other when we sat down and literally just start talking about it. It was like it was meant to happen. And no matter what, we're always going to be tight. And I want to put that in you guys' head right now. You could never create any beef between me and Chris. Ever. 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 I don't care if she write a song. Yes, it's don't. Not about me. Thank you for saying that. If I make a Even song about, me, about my I emotions, <laughs> if, if I make a song and it's like, fuck you, stupid ass duck, cunt, cunt, bitch. It's not about Chrissy. Chrissy's amazing. I must be talking about somebody else. But Or if I tweet something because like I bitches tweet. ain't shit i hate bitches no. with red dreads <laughs> <laughs> no i do be tweeting some stuff but it's never subliminal towards anybody i just be speaking in general and i don't want y'all to like think like oh is chrissy talking about Damo or is Damo talking about chrissy because i'm i me and Damo are so open with each other very you will i I've, I've said this plenty of times on social media especially twitter you will never see me disrespect Damo on social media period for the fact that i respect her as a person so, and i would just never do that yeah. and i respect her as dominic's mother and i would never want dominic to grow up and see like us bashing each other on social media because once you put stuff on social media no matter if we delete it it's always gonna be there so i would never ever ever disrespect you on social media me neither. ever 
Like, don't, if you see something, you can simply ask what I'm talking about. You know what I'm gonna tell you. I we tell respect you each other that much. We're so, like, if we have a problem, we'll just come to each other. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And all I want, the time. And I want y'all to know, like, everything that you said, seen on videos, everything, all that, it was real. Nothing was fake, okay? I don't want y'all to be like, oh, whatever. I don't know. You know genuine we friendship, genuine. genuine relationship, like, genuine everything. Like, we never sat down and was like, oh, well... We don't love each other, but we're still gonna do this. We're thing never guys. ever gonna stay together for a check. We see too many YouTube covers that we know. Our happiness is so much worth than more, way money. more. I, I throw it all away just to have a for good relationship money. with her. We're risking so much right now. Just, we have sponsorships, pot, sponsorships, um, uh, a million dollar YouTube channel, like all that. We're giving it all up. We're literally not posting on this channel anymore. Just like, for our happiness. Just for, yes, because we just know that we don't need to be together right now or in general. Um, and <coughs> I don't want y'all to think this was some overnight, you know what I'm saying? We we literally tried. I don't want y'all to think we did not try. For those of you guys who are like, try again, do this, do that. Like, we really tried, you know? And we're just better off as best friends, you know? <laughs> I always say, <laughs> she's like a sister to me. <laughs> it's weird. No incest. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so don't bully her new girl whenever it comes. Can you stop with the jokes? No, it's not a joke. I'm don't dead bully serious. Her, don't bully her new man. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm being dead serious. And I want y'all to come back to this video and watch this. Don't bully me. Yeah, don't bully her. Don't, don't bully, bully her either. I'm gonna let y'all know right now, I have zero friends i'm gonna just be blunt like i'm gonna need y'all to be here for me like i'm bad me specifically her too obviously but okay i got the main focus only because i have a friend yeah two i feel like i can hold my emo like i i yeah. know how to like really handle my emotions better i don't feel like like don't have sympathy it might not look like it right now but trust me when this camera go off i'm gonna be depressed sad crying but not depressed as in like i mean i said that wrong just sad i'm gonna be sad you know what i'm saying like we've been sad what, the whole, we, we cry wake, every single day we, we wake up one day like oh i'm just so sad today like it's just one of them days we cry every day but we just know that it's <laughs> sad and it's, it's just sad to think about um i just know that it's very official she already signed her lease for her new place we're moving out of this place uh, our lease is up in a couple months so we're still gonna live here together for a couple months until the lease is up i just know that like sometimes you don't like to like talk to your family about stuff and i don't want you to be sad over there and trying to like hide your emotions and stuff because you don't want to be at my house and you don't want to intrude on what the fuck I'm trying to do. Like, I really don't care. Like, I care about you so much that I don't want you to be sad or think that you can't come to me about anything. I've never had somebody care about me so much, so I really don't. Like, usually people just don't care about me. Like, I'm dead serious. I'm like a trash bag. A lot. You're not a trash bag to me. I always try to tell you how much I appreciate you and love you. That was the sweetest thing I've ever heard. You're so genuine. Your love is so real. My eyes switch. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I hate that. You're so genuine. And you like, you love me how I deserve to be loved. And I pray for Chrissy. I'm not being dramatic. I pray for somebody just like Chrissy after all the stuff I went through. Send me somebody loyal, nice, cares about me, look, gonna love my kid, Watch all that. Clothes. Yeah. Do her dishes. <laughs> Your side of I asked for another mom. No, and it's crazy because we didn't work out. You just had to say that, huh? Yeah, I think that's crazy. Like you're the perfect person for me, but we did not work out. And it, like I told you, some of y'all might not understand this, but it's just because I can't, unless like, you're like an adult. Relationship wise, we're just like, just been there. Yeah, very. Best friends, like, and Bro, we've had this conversation. Fat, like, like that, like we're best friends. We've had conversations about this because we're we've always been close. Like we've always been like best friends. We've always been cool. We've always had that great friendship. But like we both like would always notice that like the relationship wasn't there. Mm -hmm. And I feel like at this point, like when we just broke up, it was like okay, we keep saying the same stuff, but no one's doing anything. When we told each other that you know it was mutual, when we started talking, we both started bawling. Remember we were in the car and you was like, I love you so much. And I was like, I love you too. And then and we, we were just play balling. That freaking song. Just had to play it. Most emotional song ever. If you 
Oh, the songs that can be out by the time this video. Well, this I wrote a song. She made for this her. song about okay, me. Ahead. She made this song about me, like literally, the day before we broke up. Well, she like recorded it the day before. It's been written for a minute. The video shooting all that. So <sighs> we yeah, recorded yeah. the video for it, and it's emotional. It'll be out probably tomorrow after this video comes out on my music So go channels. watch it because it's really good. It's crazy. We cried. We cried I just, to we, it, dude. We just reacted to it. And it's I so was... sad. But yeah. It's like it's like one of us passed. God forbid. I don't even want to think about that shit. <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's just real sad. Like, I don't, I just, I love you so much. I, I love just, you too. Thank you for loving me unconditionally. Thank love you me for, for loving me unconditionally too. You're a good one. Usually it's me that's like keeping it together. Yeah. She's been watching me cry. And I know you feel bad. I can tell when she watches me cry, she just like be like, damn. But yeah, I'm proud of myself. Pat me on my back. I just want y'all to please try to understand and please just respect us. Please don't hit us in our DMs like, please just get back together. You guys need to do da 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 da. You guys just need to try because we've tried. We've done everything behind the scenes. Everything Very behind the scenes. Like, yeah. We don't we don't try. Well, actually, we don't broadcast our relationship like that at all. Like it's very private. So that's we, why we haven't been posting this much too. Yeah, it's, like, it just, it's a disconnect there, you know what I'm saying? And we went to therapy, like we tried, and we just figured out that we are just the best of freaking friends. Like, yeah. I feel like we're gonna get on that level one day where I'm never, Mark, watch this video, unless I'm just like that type of girl like that just like be lying. But I don't feel like I'm ever gonna move on. Like, after Chrissy, she's such a good person, I don't see my, she's looking like, bullsh. No, no, no. I don't believe in it no more. I'ma just be blunt, like, you're the last love of my life. I don't say that. You are. You shouldn't be like that. I don't want I don't wanna do this. If again. you don't, that's cool. But I don't think you should like I'm not doing this again. It's too hard on the heart. I'm not. <laughs> I'm <laughs> it feels like I have a heart attack every single day. Right now, I'm sad, but I'm Gucci. Wait till the 3 a.m. I'm gonna be <laughs> Tell me what you just doing to me. I know it's random, what? but you said that you were, what were you doing pitching me? I was pitching her to wake her up, and she was not, How do you she not know? Know. So she signed her lease, she moves out first, and then I move out right after her. Um, I feel like that, at that moment, is when it's gonna get real for both of us. And I feel like we have to be strong, and we have to remain like, a, a good relationship, and like, especially for Dominic. You guys know our son, um, I had him, and you know, she just came right in. She was she raised him from birth and all that. And you've been an amazing mother. Thank you for coming in and raising him and just being like the bomb. She's a bomb mom. We also want to add stuff about co-parenting and Dominic and all that. Um, I'm gonna always be in his life regardless. Like that's no question. I just feel like I don't want people to think because I'm not his biological mother, which I consider him as my biological child. Like if people ask, I'm not gonna be like, oh, he's my stepson adopted son like you know what i'm saying like he's literally like me he's a part of me regardless. she has can i say this really quick yeah she has a room at her apartment it's bittersweet talking about it for dominic and it's gonna be so cute um i'm gonna do a room tour yeah so make sure you he's go gonna watch have a, a different room in my house but it's gonna be a bunch of learning stuff nothing's gonna change she's still i don't ever want to hear nobody discredit her she raised him from birth Okay, don't discredit her and try to tell her like you're not even the mom or whatever BS you want to say. Honestly, she's a mom. She's his other mom. She will always be his other mom, no matter what happens in life. We could be, and she will still always be his mom. I would never ever take Dominic from her, ever. So um, I just want to say that. Um, and we already have um, a custody schedule. Um, we're not going to court and all that extra stuff because we get a long break. Like yeah, we, there's no point. Of yeah, bringing there's all no that point. Extra stuff in. So he'll spend three and a half days at my house. He'll spend three and a half days at her house. Most of the time, we'll probably be together as a family still. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're definitely still doing. I'm sorry to be yeah. off, but we're still doing family stuff. We have all a family the time. vacation. Yeah, and, coming up and, actually. Yeah, and, Towards yeah, the middle of August. Um, we're still gonna be doing everything together. Christmas, as a we're doing together. I don't all want that. Dominic to think one. I mean, he'll never like see like get like get that vibe that we hate each other because I feel like I'll I don't ever want to like argue mm -hmm. or nothing in front of Dominic because he doesn't deserve that. I mean, I went through that. I don't know if you went through that, but it's just unhealthy for the child. It really messes with the child. Mm -hmm. So I don't ever want him to and think innocent. like, oh well, like why. Am I going back and forth from house to house? Like I want him to see that like we can still get along and we can still be around each other. Like obviously as he gets older, we're always like we're gonna explain it in the best 
possible way. Yeah, possible. like like we were just, we just wasn't Tom feeling Shay. it, <laughs> like, brother. So, <laughs> way, so a way that he can understand and like know that like we still love each other mm -hmm. as a family very much. And I, you're definitely gonna still see us all three together regardless. Exactly. Like, you're gonna be at my house. You're gonna be at my house cooking. Me that no, shrimp that I just. Then you're gonna be at my house and I'm gonna be cooking the shrimp. We're gonna. I wanna have. I love that. I shrimp. really wanna start having Sunday dinners. Yes. Like I've been talking about Sunday dinners forever. Sunday dinners. Yeah. Sunday dinners. Sunday dinners. Sunday dinners. And um, yeah, I just wanna make sure that he knows like we we always love each other. Regardless. He has two parents, Chrissy, Donald. Regardless, that love him very much so don't ever say. worry about him if he's with chrissy for x amount of days don't be like where's domo debbie or if he's with yeah. me x amount of days i see i do that to other youtube people yeah, just so other people celebrities like, are there. Yeah, i don't know just, not us just i feel like people that do that just don't know what goes on yeah don't understand what you guys see exactly they only see what we want them to see exactly like and that's just just real. know that just know that the custody <clears throat> like i told you if you see him with chrissy for x amount of days yeah, don't try to, and like, if you see him with me for x amount of yeah. next, like or whose week it is or if like, chrissy has to go on a business trip for two weeks then guess what i got down for exactly. two weeks same it's never gonna be a beef i want you to succeed i want you to thank freaking you. You do too, everything too. thank you I do everything you that you wanted to stop doing your dreams because of me yeah, no. Because I just want y'all to know, like, we are good. Don't try to figure stuff out. We are good. Always will be. You know what I'm saying? And if we ever are not good, like, let's just say we're arguing and so I can't see the thing. Let's just say, like, we're having, like, a little disagreement. Then y'all never know. It will be no, between we'll us. Never know. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Just and if we that. argue. We I'm barely argue. You on That's why Instagram our relationship. And say how much I love you. And then you're going to forget about it. Exactly. And then you're going to come over and you're going to cook me dinner because... I'm gonna be cooking dinner. You're so cute. Oh my gosh, she's like a little baby. Um, that's why our relationship was like, girl, I'm trying to fight. You know what I'm saying? We never argue. Never. Can we like we argue? Rarely. Rarely though. Like Rarely. I think like about like why I you got the pepper on the counter when I asked you to put it in a cabinet. Yeah. Or like take the garbage out. Yeah. Take the exactly. Garbage out. Like no, it literally like I I'm not being dramatic. I'm not trying to be like oh we're perfect because we're definitely not perfect. But I just feel like we like. We went past that stage so quick. We had the stage where we argued. But it passed, it literally passed so quick. It's kind of weird. It passed really quick. Mm -hmm. It passed quicker than I thought it was Very quick. quick. I just feel like, like we've grown so much and we're so genuine towards each other. And like, I just don't see it. I, I just don't ever really see us like getting into a big, huge argument. Ever. Ever. Maybe past us, you know, when we were younger. But uh, this us, you, you would never see us beefing. Ever. 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 Don't try to piece stuff together because that's when you get stuff mistaken. Yes. Okay. If we ain't say it, it ain't true. And let's just go by that. I'm not gonna stop putting you on my Snapchat or stop like Snapchatting you or like posting about you or whatever because of us posting about our breakup. Like I feel like I feel like nothing's like I mean stuff's changed. But I mean like you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. not like like obviously it's a drastic change, but like our friendship sorry. <laughs> our friendship didn't change so like you're still my best friend and i'm gonna still do everything i don't i don't want people to think like we're getting back together because i'm like we're posting each other well if you post me pinky swear we're always gonna be best friends you're always supposed to be our best friend i promise i pinky swear come on cut cut your finger blood bro brothers hey you've seen this promise right if she ever tried to beef with me <laughs> It's your hair. I'm joking. You ain't that. We are both moving out within the month. Um, when we move out, which will be within the month, because that's when our lease is up. I need you guys to be there for both of us emotionally, because I feel like right now we're still like I can't even be like best friends and stuff. But that's when it's gonna get real. So I feel like just be there and you know just ask us if we're okay. As simple, are you okay? How are you feeling today? We'll do justice. You know what I'm saying? Um, you could choose to support us separately because we will not be on this channel anymore this is like the last video on we're gonna keep it up right yeah we're gonna keep this up you guys should, should just go watch our old little cute videos we're keeping up everything we're not deleting nothing like just we just want to keep it up you know we don't none of us are going to take over the account it's just going to be sitting there um so you can choose to support us separately if you want to support us separately all our social medias will be down below 
I have a YouTube channel and she has her own personal YouTube channel. And you know we finna be grinding. Grinding. Um, we she we might pop up on each other's channels, but we would not be up on this channel. You're gonna be on my channel, girl. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Oh, I was gonna say I'm going to do a video. My ex picks out my outfits. I'm just joking. I'm not gonna say that. Ex? Oh, too soon. I don't like being on ex. I'm just joking. I guess I am an ex. So yeah, if you want to support us separately, like I told y'all a lot of things, we have Instagram. YouTube, um, what else we have? Twitter, all that. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, YouTube, and all that. Go spam us with love, man, all down below. We love y'all so much. Thank you for supporting us, man. And I know this is hard. This was very, very hard. We're probably gonna hold each other all night. We literally, <laughs> how many times did we sit and say, I don't wanna make this video? Oh, so many times. We weren't gonna make it, like, if we just didn't, uh, like, do it now. Because we gotta put you to the morning, to the morning, like, we don't, it's, we don't I want to come in reality. I'm so like emotional and just talking about it. Cause like we already talked about it. I mean, we still talk about it like small things, but like I feel like we already like talked about everything. So like it's like bringing it all up again. It's just emotional. But I also want to say one more thing, and then I'm gonna let her just take this away. Um, make your own goals in your relationship. You know, don't look up to like other couples. You know what I'm saying? Make your own goals and make it because everything is not what it seems. Not, we were genuine in our relationship. I'm just saying, like everybody has problems. You know what I'm saying? Don't expect everything to be so perfect because I know this might take some of you guys for a left turn. Um, and I just want to let you guys know, like nobody's perfect. Even all these couples you see out on social media, celebrities, all that. They have issues, you know what I'm yes, saying? Jesus. They don't they don't broadcast it, most of them, okay? We love y'all so much, and thank y'all for supporting us on this long journey, on our YouTube journey. Uh, it's been a long ride. Is it two years? Almost three. It's been a long roller coaster. Yeah, I wanted to say that, this is just for me personally, but please don't bring negativity to my page. Me either. At all. In my comments. Blog. In my anything. Blog. Personally, I'm not going to be looking for it because I feel like when you look for it, you find it. And I am I just don't want negativity. Like, I'm trying to focus on myself and my happy, my true, true happiness. Like, my, I'm going to cry. <laughs> like, my true self, I want to be happy and positive. Like, I don't want to, like, get on social media and see some crazy stuff saying, just ignorant stuff like i just don't have time for it so if you're gonna bring it to my page just know i'm not gonna see it so you're wasting your time and don't come to me talking mess about chrissy ever because i will block you oh, a lot of y'all might try to pick sides it's always gonna be team damo and chrissy it's never just gonna don't say oh chrissy you should have left her any like block that's my best friend mother of my son never gonna disrespect her and if you disrespect her you disrespected me and if you disrespected me you gotta go simple don't ever don't don't even try don't even try coming to my page talk about demo it'll be over with i'm gonna cuss you out no not no no black boo boo i'm gonna cuss you out because i'm not gonna go for that shit at all like i don't give a fuck who you are i don't know and i'm for real even in person don't be coming up to me like oh i loved you more than demo like no people people actually do that yeah they do on both ends, it's like, is it yeah, a competition? It's just, it's like, we're just like, we're in a relationship. Yeah. I mean, not anymore. No, but even if not, even if we weren't, like, we mean so much to each other, I'm never gonna let nobody, nobody, I don't even know who this. I'm nobody, gonna, ever. Like, no one ever disrespect you, like, call you some type of name, or say, like, just anything. Like, I wish somebody would. I'm gonna cuss you straight out, like, for real. Like, That's if I see it, for we real. We riding for each I'm other. I'm really not, I'm really not, like, I'm not with that negativity at all. Like, I've been so, like, I feel like everybody these days is so invested in, like, drama and negativity. And I've, like, found myself being so invested in, like, drama and negativity mm -hmm. that, like, I'm tired of it. it. It stresses you out. It gives you wrinkles. Do you see these? Those are wrinkles. Girl, bye. Those are wrinkle lines. You're not supposed to have those. Those mean, that means you're stressed. Like, <laughs> she cracks me up. No. <laughs> I'm going to start meditating. So, if y'all got some tips, please let me know in my DM. Or on Twitter, um, I want to start, start doing yoga. Classes. You should. She wants to do hip hop dance classes. She's gonna go work out with me. I'm letting y'all know right Eventually, now. Whenever you're oh, yes. right here, right here. We're gonna go at yes. six o'clock in the morning. Yes, I'm trying to lose this weight, girl. girl. You got me fat. You got me fat. I'm trying to be skinny petite. But you mean no? For real, I want to let y'all know right now, right now, while this video is up, I'm gonna be looking different these days. You feel me? Different. I don't want to hear no She's comments. She's gonna her true self. Like I wasn't my truth. No, I just no. want to dress how I want to dress, and I don't want 
y'all people gonna talk anyway i'm just letting y'all know right now that i'm gonna be switching it up you, you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be dude Mm. I'm gonna be oh, switching it up. I, 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 before I met Chrissy, I was switching up anyway. I met her, and then I felt like I had to be somebody. Not because she made me, but because I just felt comfortable like that. But now that you know, I'm finding myself. I really am like being single. It's weird saying that. Um, I've definitely learned a lot about myself that I did not know when I was in a relationship with Chrissy. So I feel like both of us, we about we finding ourselves. We're about to find ourselves. We're, we about to glow up and being our happiest. Living our best lives, mm -hmm. like for real, and we're still gonna be cool. Like that's the thing. Best friend. That's the thing I love about it because you hear my voice cracking. Yeah, because I, I just <laughs> mature. <laughs> Cause I just like you're always you're you're always gonna be my best friend. I just feel like like I'm glad that I get to. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm glad I get to like still have me. Yeah, have like, your cake and eat it too. No, don't say oh, that. I'm joking. I meant like. No, I'm, I'm, ugh, why is it cat hair everywhere? Oh, because it's, oh, no, I'm glad too, because this is the most mature breakup I've ever had in my life. We've been so freaking, I'm proud of us. Me too. I'm so, don't us, for real. I love you. Did you, I just switch? Probably. <laughs> I, I still, I still grab her butt. I touch a titty here and there, but Me you too. know, it's a boundary we don't cross. We I was, don't kiss. I was holding your titty earlier. Bro, I was moist, but really a little bit. You <laughs> cut? No, I'm joking. Um, it's no. gonna be hard. I mean, it's not gonna be hard, but it's gonna take a while for us to like stop crossing these lines. My nose is all types of runny. We've been talking so much. I'm sorry, y'all. No, I feel like it's good. I just really love you and I appreciate you, and I always want to reassure you that you. <sighs> Meep. You made me the happiest person that I've ever been in my life and you've just done so much for me and it's just emotionally period like financially yeah like I I do obviously I appreciate you helping me out financially so much with I appreciate you in this situation right now we helped each other with this YouTube thing honestly we came in this together you know but that wasn't my point I was mostly talking about emotionally like you just really <laughs> You were like, finna put my out. Um, I just really appreciate you being there for me and loving me unconditionally. I would never break that promise that I would never be here for you unless I obviously something happened to me, but I'll always be here for you. Always. Can you not haunt me? Girl, bye. No. You said, <laughs> you said, uh,. you said if something happens to me, why would you say that? No, like, I'm, I will always be here for you. Like, I love you. Thank you for being in my life. Thank you for being a amazing one, brother Dominic. Thank you for showing me what real love is without the anger and the fighting and the cheating and the all that. Like you showed me what real love was and it sucks that we didn't work out, but what makes us special <laughs> is that we can remain friends. As you heard that correct folks, she doesn't have anything else to say, which means this video is over. So this is, very this bitter. Is my video. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I just feel like this is bitter. Not even sweet. Bittersweet? No, this is bitter. This is bitter. This is our last video. We worked so hard on this channel, man. Three million subscribers, y'all are amazing. And this is our last video. I love y'all so much. We love I appreciate you guys. This. If it wasn't for you guys, then. We probably wouldn't be doing YouTube. No, I still be like, on Facebook. Quit. <laughs> and two, because you guys support us no matter what. Well, yeah, I feel like all of you guys always supported us no matter what. Like, mm -hmm. regardless of if we didn't post, if we did post, if we anything. Like, I just appreciate you guys for coming to see us on tour. Oh, we went on tour. Very nice DMs. DMs. Always, I appreciate you guys a lot for being there for me when i was depressed because i mean she was there for me and i want to clear that up real quick that anything that i was ever talking about on social media like when i was sad was never about her she was oh she was the one that was there for me i just know you know like when you talk to somebody like so much i feel like i talked to you so much yeah you, you need another somebody opinion. else's yeah. opinion yeah. so like i was crying out for help literally like to everybody and 
the only people that were there for me were y'all. Exactly. The people that don't even know us personally. It's always like that. Same with me. And I appreciate that a lot because I really needed it. And I talked I, I talked to a couple people. Mm -hmm. Like, especially before I deleted my Instagram for a week. You were booking it on. I'm sorry. I'm looking at it. I'm like this. Well, give me a tissue. Okay. Please. I've been stuffing my nose or sh sh Um, I want to thank you guys as well for being there for me as well. Um, when I was going through a lot of stuff, the only people who again were there for me were people that I did not even know. Um, even when you were pregnant, yeah, people was taken up for her, bro. bro people that I didn't even know. It'd be people that Never I knew that was life. laughing at the memes and all that. Yep, me too. And mm -hmm. I blocked all of them. Yeah. But the people that I didn't know, y'all always rocking for us, and it's just very bittersweet. And I'm gonna be hella sad after this video is over, to be honest. But um, just gonna go away and eat our ice cream. And we don't even have movie. any ice cream. It's okay. We can just eat some snacks. We deserve it tonight. I don't have nightmares. Okay, we don't have to eat snacks. You can eat snacks. I'll just I watch you. Okay. Thank you guys. I'm sorry this video is so long, but we it needed to be done. It needed to be said. Um, we appreciate all of you guys, all three million of you guys, and and this is our the pillow that she gave me. Look, she was pregnant. You were pregnant in all of these, actually. Majority of them. Actually, all of them. No, except for the back. Look. TBT. Oh yeah, TBT. So yeah, it's Damo and Chrissy, and we are out. Oh, I was gonna say, can we just say it's Damo and Chrissy one more time? One time? Yes. One time for the one time. One time for the one time. Okay. Go!